Thank you, PMD, for sponsoring today's video. Good morning, guys. I want to show y'all this cute little set that I have on. I got to fix it because, you know, when you're a big girl, all your stuff just be wanting to hang out of your cute little tank tops. But I just love this. And it has the little jacket because, you know, a girl gets cold. And even if I don't, I just got to look cute. So I got to keep the jacket on. But is this not adorable? I actually let myself sleep in a little bit. Well, not like sleep in because I still woke up at 630 because that's just the time that my brain is set on waking up. I literally hate it. Like I went to sleep at 12 in the morning because I was working on another video <sighs> and my brain still wanted to wake me up at 6 30 this morning tell me why can you just let me rest but I'm just now getting out of bed so I let myself kind of lay in bed for a little bit it's 9 30 I also did not go to the gym this morning lately I feel like there's just been a disconnect with me in the gym because I've been going for like four months consistently and at this point I just I don't know I think I'm getting burnt out lately I've been mostly doing Doing just cardio because I kind of got more into my shy girl mindset where I don't want to even go and lift weights or do anything in the corner so I've just been doing the bike the stairs the treadmill and the elliptical and that's fun and all because I really do enjoy my cardio but at the same time I was just having so much fun when it came to trying new machines lifting weights doing squats and I think also it was because like a few months ago me and Aisha would always correlate so we would walk some some days we would go to the gym other days and you know just keep it different some days lift weights some days cardio things like that but lately it's just been the same thing over and over and I think that that's what really has me burn out so I asked her today if she wants to go for a walk but we shall see you would think that this pink head cap is mine but Kevin actually wears the pink one he likes it because it's more comfortable on his head like I literally bought him a black one and he likes that one more good morning stormy you gonna have to move you gonna have to move. Good morning. Come on. Come on. Come on. I've been trying to make my bed in the morning before I get up and start my day. I bought this cover from Target and I thought that it was orange in the store. And when I got home and I opened it up, it was pink. So yeah, we have a pink comforter. Well, it's really a quilt, not a comforter. Giving me strawberry kiwi vibes with the pink comforter and the green pillows and the green sheets. But it's still cute or whatever. I really want to wear these compression leggings because it just makes me be more productive. It gives me that little that feeling anytime I wear compression clothes. This room is a mess as always and I don't know where the matching top is. So I think for now I'm gonna just put on a different top. These are from Target. These are in a 2x which I thought was gonna be too small but just the way that they stretch they're the perfect size. I have the same pair in blue and these are just my favorite workout sets. They don't roll on the tummy. I'm about to put it on now. Ugh. They are a little hard to get on just cause they're so compression-y. And I love that they're so freaking thick. Favorite leggings ever. I'm just snatched. I'm just gonna put on this black tank top for now until I can find the top that actually goes with it. I'm sorry, I gotta turn off the camera to put this on. This top does look like it would kind of go with it, but if you look closely, they're two separate colors. But this one is ribbed. This one is from Walmart. I think I'm gonna change this later though. Just something to put on for now. That works. Here's the fit. Me and Kevin went out the other day and I got these platform Crocs and I never really thought I would be a Croc girl, but get a black pair of Crocs. They're so just like universal. You can wear them around your house. I wear Crocs instead of slippers and it isn't like a huge platform. It's just a mini little platform honestly it's the perfect platform for me because I'm tall anyways and I don't need to be any taller I think it's time that I open this because this has just been sitting by my door for so long it's a food saver let's open it up this is so hard to get out I'm gonna turn it upside down here are the bags that you use to save the food. I actually really needed one of these. I'm not very good at putting up my leftovers. Oh, it's wrapped very nicely. For now, I'm gonna put this over there 
and I'm gonna have Kevin look at the instructions for me. I did want to take a moment to show you guys really quick my newest addition to my skincare routine, my PMD Clean Body. Also, huge thanks to PMD for sponsoring today's video. And yes, I did say skincare because skincare isn't always just your face. The PMD Clean Body keeps your skin clear from breakouts and ingrown. Anytime I use my PMD Clean Body, it feels like a spa day. But I get to save a little extra coin by having my spa day at home. It also has interchangeable heads, which is one of my favorite features. And they're magnetic, so they're really simple to change out when you're in the shower. I love all of the attachments, but this one here is hands down my favorite. It's a massager that you can use both inside and outside of the shower. Outside of the shower, you can pair it with your favorite oil or moisturizer and give yourself a little foot massage. And then we have the loofah attachment, which you can gently exfoliate your skin with. And another great thing about the PMD Clean Body is you can actually reach your back. To have the best spa day at home, all you have to do is click the link in my description, use my code Sierra PMD, and you'll get 25% off this amazing tool. And thank you so much PMD for sponsoring today's video. Here is how my passion twists are holding up. That is literally my real hair. Oh gosh, I gotta fix that. And then I have a literal just bobby pin chilling in my hair. Yeah, they're kind of a mess. I mean, they're not horrible. It's just, you can tell some of my natural hair is starting to hang out. I was wanting a more natural look anyways, but obviously, you know, I don't want <laughs> my natural hair just showing. That's not really a protective style when your natural hair is hanging out. I'm just gonna thread it back through real quick. I don't even know how that happened. Valentine's Day is coming up. Kevin said he did want to take a trip somewhere, but I don't know how to plan trips. I really don't, and neither does he. I feel like for Valentine's Day, I would just appreciate a cute little gesture. Like you don't have to give me anything crazy. Anything I want, usually I just buy for myself. So I'm not going too crazy like, oh, get me the perfect gift. Like I don't care about that. That's one thing about Kevin. He's not the most romantic person. He obviously knows when to be cute, but he's not really like a huge, oh, I'm gonna plan this and I'm gonna do this in the most romantic way. That's just not him. I know he loves me and he shows me every day. Quality time is my love language. I love spending time with Kevin and his love language is physical touch. I think our love languages mesh very well together. I'm just putting this up for now so I can do my edges. I use this edge booster. I started doing edges literally just a couple of months ago and I still to this day don't really know what I'm doing. Your girl is trying. I became natural about when was 2018? Because I would say like three years ago but I'm pretty sure 2018 was like what five years ago now? Yeah five years ago. That's so sad because I would just think, oh, 2018, yeah, two, three years ago. No, a full five years ago is when I became natural. And in the beginning of that journey, I never learned how to do edges. I was always just a simple wash and go girl, didn't do my edges, just put a little bit of curl cream in my hair and left it at that. But now your girl is evolving. I'm trying different styles, different looks. And I feel like my hair is really gonna benefit from being in protective styles. I've already noticed a huge difference as far as growth. My hair has grown tremendously the past few months. I can just see it in my videos. And obviously with this style, I added hair. So this isn't all my natural hair, but when I take it down, you can definitely see the growth. Okay. I think I'm improving on doing edges. I know a lot of people don't like those crazy dramatic edges, but I do not care what you like. It's about me, baby. Who is commenting? Someone commented, can Kevin fight? The answer is no, Kevin cannot fight. Kevin is a very non-confrontational person. He is very shy. I don't even know if I do my edges correctly. I just kinda yeah, wing it. Someone commented on my video and they were like, I cannot believe I came back to your video and you're still the same weight. I'm gonna come back in a few months and you're still gonna weigh the same amount. You're just another Amberlynn Reed who knows how to edit better. I don't know who this Amberlynn person is. I mean, I've seen them before. I don't watch their content or anything like that, but so many people are like, when they try to leave me hate comments, they compare me to her and then they say something rude. I'm like, I don't know who that is. Obviously she peed off a lot of people. And I'm like, thank you for complimenting my editing. You think my editing is good? You're a fan? Thank you, I'm flattered. Pretty sure I blocked him. 
So I'm sorry you won't be able to come back in a month or two. Like you said you would. I'm sorry, I did block you. I'm going in with the Mish Styling Gel. Ooh, this smells so good. But I think it's so funny how people comment and they're like, wow, you've gained weight. Or they're like, you look so much bigger now. Dude, you don't even know. Every time I go to the doctor, I've lost weight. And it's crazy how delusional these people are. They think because I eat certain things, they're like, you'll never lose weight. Like, babes, I've lost 30 pounds. 30 pounds? Not that it matters, but definitely not true. And I'm gonna continue eating whatever I want. You can kind of see my natural hair is trying to come out but I don't care I'm going for the messy look anyways because like I said I want them to look natural they're like boho style which is what they call it when your hair is out well it's not my hair it's the crochet hair since I'm feeling like an it girl today I think I'm just gonna do some light makeup Lately, I haven't been wearing any makeup. Also gonna add a little bobby pin so that I can pin my hair from getting in my face because I hate that. And then another one on this side because some reason this one is like sticking up. And that's gonna be today's look. We should call Kevin and see if we can go up there and have lunch. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'll eat. There's Taco Bell, Jimmy John's. I don't know, what, what do you like? Taco Bell is fine. Okay, now I'm just deciding on what top I should wear because I really don't want to wear this top. I might do the Sherpa jacket that I bought from Old Navy that I haven't even worn yet. See, this would be cute. I just wish it was a little bit longer to cover up my butt because I'm on my period and I don't want my pad to show through my leggings. So I think this is going to be a no. Why does everything have to be cropped these days? I feel like a grandma, but seriously, it's annoying. I had some sweaters that were in the dryer that I picked up at the thrift last week. I haven't even tried them on, but let's see if something from those clothes work. This one is cute. I don't know about the length, but it does have these slits on the side. Let me try this striped one. I feel like this one's really cute too. And it looks cozy. Okay, I think I like this one a lot more, even though it's giving 2016 Sierra who would only wear sweaters. Maybe these Ugg Mini dupes with it. I feel like every time I wear the Ugg Mini dupes though, they kind of look like house shoes. Finally decided on a fit. I think this is really cute. I don't know. One part of me loves this. And then the other part is thinking that this looks like a freaking Starbucks girl from 2016 with the Uggs, well they're off brand, and the sweater. I don't know, it's cute, it's cozy, it's basic, I'm going with it. The makeup doesn't necessarily match the vibes, but it's okay. Bringing this water bottle because it really, ooh, it really needs to be refilled up. My car is new and I already need to take it to go get vacuumed. It has been so rainy lately, which I have the floor mats that are like the all weather floor mat, but they're still pretty dirty. Like they could use a good vacuum. My car could use a good wipe down. So one of these days we really need to go and do that. If you ever get anxious with vlogging or filming in public, get you a GoPro. It's so tiny. People can barely tell that you're filming. Just sit it down, be natural. Maybe putting the car in park would be a good idea. Bruh, I should take him forever. Where are you at? What did you just see my text say? What are you talking about? One more okay. pie. Kubelin. I just picked up Kevin from his lunch break and we're about to go eat Taco Bell with Aisha. Episode three. What are you talking about? We were getting left together, right? I already did episode three and that's not what this vlog is. It's episode weekly, four. It's just a weekly vlog. A weekly vlog, number one. Anyways. <laughs> okay, we're about to go in Taco Bell. I need a drink. It's okay, I'm not thirsty. I don't want anything. Y'all, tell me why I should really put her name as Beyonce and they called her to get her food for Beyonce. <laughs> I am Beyonce, Beyonce is me. I forgot to get a drink, so Kevin actually asked for a water for me. Even though usually he's too scared to even talk to the freaking person at the desk because of his social anxiety. Not the desk, but the cashier. I got easy beans on my Mexican 
Mexican pizza? Okay. Beans make my stomach hurt. It, it should be doo doo. <laughs> anyway, Kevin got the Mexican pizza and two soft tacos. I got the Mexican pizza because I really want to try it. But the main thing I really wanted was this like bowl that I get. That's like a Chipotle bowl. Good though. I didn't like Chipotle. Well, it's not Chipotle, but it's the power menu bowl. I added guac, soft potato tacos, add beef, no Chipotle sauce. Loaded. I'm about to try the Mexican pizza because I've never had it before. Mm. It's actually good. I'm literally so tired right now, but Aisha wants to go try out this new coffee shop and so do I Well, cuz why not? I haven't had coffee in forever. So that's where I'm heading right now Today has been pretty eventful cuz y'all know usually I don't even leave my house I mean I leave my house, but usually I don't do this much in a day Cuz I want ya and I need ya Leave my world so cold That's a good song right there why did I get in the car like that? Right. I, mean, I hope it's some good coffee. What's the place called? A cold coffee? Let me look real quick while the light is red. It's a little cute little coffee shop. Look really cute in there. The post. Let me see. Coffee better be good. I don't see nothing about no iced. I'm pretty sure a coffee place is not gonna have coffee without having it iced as well. Not everybody drinks iced coffee. You mean? Then they open me not cold, hot coffee. <laughs> and then they open close to like spring time, so if they sell the only hot coffee, then they stupid. <laughs> this, I'm like, really? Hot coffee is okay. good, but I'm a iced coffee girl. Yeah, I mean, it looks like they have iced coffee cups. Hold on tight, cause here we go. No, I don't think, no. You have no childhood. You ain't watched the Little Einsteins? Oh, I watched the Little Einsteins. You remember that part in the theme song? Wait, what part? They was like, hold on tight, cause here we go. I think. Little we need you climb aboard get ready to explore Jumping it's so through. much to you find just skipped a little whole Einstein. climb aboard we're get ready to explore it's so much to down. find five Einstein. four three two one <laughs> <laughs> it's a mashup that was a cringe <laughs> era in life I miss the Vine days. I was never like a Vine girl. I loved Vine. It was so funny. I can imagine. I can see you on Vine. Yeah. I can see you making Vines too. I did make some Vines, but those are lost memories now. Didn't Vine get taken over yeah, by TikTok? Yeah, they freaking, no. At first it was musically that came out, but I don't know if that was like the cause of Vine to go away, but mm -hmm. I just listened to, to a Tony Romini song. She ain't got. Why you had to do the whole, oh, I was in choir. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> you got the vocals and Taste the coffee for you guys. Mine okay. is a what is it? White chocolate mocha. White iced chocolate mocha with oat milk. Right. One, two, three. Okay, that's good. It's actually good, yeah. Mix it around a little bit more. Yeah. She's good. Better cheers. <laughs> Not better than Starbucks, I, I tell you that. But I mean, it's better than what I got from Starbucks. <laughs> So how would you say the coffee was? Oh, uh, I say it was pretty good. Rate it. I rated uh seven. I think personally, like it's it's the best coffee I've had in a minute. I like my coffee sweet. It, if it was like a tiny bit sweeter, I probably rate it like a nine. And we're opposite. I like my coffee not bitter necessarily, but I just don't like it as sweet. I don't want it to be super that like coffee taste like real strong. Yeah. So what hairstyle do y'all think I should do next? I don't know if I should do like the bubble braid poodle puffs again, which is what I had before but I just did them on my natural hair. This time I'm gonna add hair and make it long or if I should do bow locks, boho braids. This is so freaking cute. I think I'm gonna get this one. I think I want the gray one. What do you think, gray? I think that's cute and it'll match with everything. Yeah, that'd be cute. They got pink too. Aisha's gonna get this wig. <laughs> 
are you lining them people? <laughs> no, actually, she changed it to purple. No, didn't. They didn't have the hair in the length that I needed, so we're gonna try to go to another beauty supply store and hopefully they'll have the hair in the length that I need. So I'm definitely gonna be doing the what are they called? Um, poodle puffs or bubble braids. I got the hair for that, and then we also got some hair for Aisha. She's gonna be doing. It was unexpected. Yeah. It looks red at the end. But it looked like a burnt orange to me. Okay, we gonna be twinning. Just me and my twinning them. You stupid. <laughs> if we can't see their mirrors, then they can't see us. Did you know that? Left lane must turn left. Oh shit, let me get over there. Yeah, unexpectedly, we got Aisha some hair. And I don't know if y'all know, but she's on her lock journey. So she's trying to grow out her lock because she's tempted to cut them off, even though they barely grown yet. She's one of those people who's like, if I'm getting tired of this style, I'm shaving my whole head. <laughs> That's her. But anyways, we're going to do some passion twist. So we did storm. I mean, <laughs> you're not stormy. Why you keep calling everybody freaking stormy, bro? <laughs> I did Aisha's hair. Here's how it's looking. But in reality, turn around. It's not fully done. So we ended up running out of hair. Because of me. Because I said all we need is two packs. But we definitely need more than two packs. So we're just going to have to finish it when? Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Now we're about to go get food. I'm here too. Back from work. We've literally been working on this for what? Like three, four hours? Started at like 4.30. It's all my free time. And it's 8. eight. Yeah. So it's like five hours, four hours. Been working for a while. But yeah, we're about to take Aisha home. Okay, I already got my phone. Lego. Ooh, it is cold though. You're cold. <sighs> it's on 90 degrees. <laughs> Yeah. We'll turn it down when it gets hot in here. When it gets cut yeah, hot in here. <laughs>